Road trip 2022 keep going and I continue exploring Kola Peninsula and Murmansk region of Russia after Tiriberka village on the coast of Baren Sea, after the city of Murmansk, the town of Olenigorsk. Now I came here to Monche, Monche Gorsk, one of the largest producers of the uh, nickel in the world. Monche Gorsk, located in this picturesque place of Kola Peninsula, around the Monche Tundra mountain range, lakes Lomolka and Imandra, which is the largest lake in Murmansk region, and Monche River. You know, in the language of Sami, Sami language, the Finno Ugric people, the indigenous people of Northern Europe, Monche means beautiful, and Tundra the mountain range so it's literally a beautiful mountain range so everybody welcome to Montegors Montegors was founded in 1937 after in 1935 they have discovered a deposits of copper and nickel here so Monchegorsk was developed around the main enterprise here, which is Kolsky Gornometallurgicheski Kombinats, or Kola Metals and Mining Combinates. And uh, it is growing up into one of the largest centers of nickel production now, with a population of 40,000 residents today. Kola Metals and Mining Company is a part of Severn Nickel, which is Northern Nickel, and Northern Nickel is a part of Nor Nickel, Norilsk Nickel. They are making here one of the purest nickels in the world, 99.9% .9 of purity. Kola Metals and Mining plans here is the biggest advantage because it's the biggest employer but big, being the biggest employer in the same time it is located right next to the city however the pollution level these days is better than it used to be after the installation of a new modern filters and now let's go to town itself Right on the entrance to the city, the Stella, Monchegorsk, the town of mythologist, greetings you. And here begins their main street, Prospect Metallurgov, Mythologist Avenue. To the pioneers and conquerors of Monche Tundra, to the guys who in 1935, 1937, came here first when here was nothing but just a tundra and they developed it into one of the largest centers of nickel production the peak of development of Monchegors came to 1950s yet with the participation of uh, St. Petersburg slash Leningrad architects. So that's why here on their main avenue we can see mostly 1950s Stalinist, so-called Stalinist neoclassical architecture. People from all over the Soviet Union were coming here, the specialists and just the workers because it was a new plant, it was a great job and uh, the new houses, the uh, apartments like great apartments with traditionally a high ceilings and uh, thick walls in the uh, Stalinist buildings <laughs> moose on five corners the symbol of the city of Montegorsk there's deer in Oledigorsk and moose here in Monchegorsk. You can find moose on the coat of arms of the town, but also you can like really miss moose all around the uh, Imandra Lake, which is the biggest lake in Murmansk region. A local fire department. 
with the firemen always staying there on the watchtower. And look, not only in Olinigorsk, they love the lilac color. One of not many hotels here called Sever Inn, North Inn. When available, the rooms here are as cheap. You can find as cheap as 1,000 rubles, which is 12, 13 bucks. Oh, wow, well, look at this. What an artwork. Monchegorsky Rabochi, Monchegorsk worker, 1935. It's the year of when they, if you remember, I told you, they discovered the copper and nickel here. And that's the local park on the bank of Lake Lumbolka. Poetic stool. The thing is, many people who love to declare the rhymes, they used to go up to the stool and to declare it from there. So it was some kind of improvised scene, like to be a little bit higher than the audience who are listening. Eagles. This looks like beach line. Same as in Olinigorsk, you will not find here anything like KFC, Burger King, Subway, McDonald's. But also, same as in Olinigorsk, though, you will find the place for Sushi Gourmet. It is called Sushi Gourmet. Looks pretty decent. Здравствуйте. Мне необходим латте с собой. Спасибо. Карта. Насколько я понимаю, это ваша местная сеть. Да, да, да. Я видел в Оленегорске. Это хорошо. Еще есть Мурманский, Североморский, Ковдоре, Кировский его of that which is for a long winter laid down on the snow the snow melted and the dust laid down on the ground usually in the beginning of may in russian towns everything is already clean central square of this city which is here called revolution square traditionally Next to the central square, here is the administration of this city, the beginning of Main Avenue, the House of Culture, the most expensive hotel, and the monument to Lenin, the leader of world proletary. The mall here called Monchester. This is a game of words with a reference to Manchester. Close bank, a digital TV, drugstore. Grocers. On the edges of the town, here are the residential buildings that already were constructed later. So here is such a 1960s, 1970s, so-called Khrushchev five stories uh, buildings and uh, 1980s, 1990s, 9, panel buildings. What about the planning of uh, the uh, neighborhoods or should I say blocks? It's also like typical Soviet planning 
It's uh, the block of the buildings, literally uh, the uh, playground for kids. And uh, on every two, three blocks, there's the school and kindergarten. The museum of the history of this city. History of Laplandia, Sami, the indigenous people of uh, these lands, and the newest history of Monchegorsk, the art object which is called Solnce Krug, the sun circle on the bank of Lumbolk Lake. Oh wow, the sun came for a couple minutes, it seems. The weather keeps changing dramatically here all the time. So this is Monche Bay, the bay of Imandra Lake. Here is the embankment, which is called Leningrad Embankment. Leningrad, the reference to the Leningrads, because people of Leningrad projected and uh, developed the city as well. And here is the monument to the defenders of Russian Arctic. Three churches in Montegor and this one, which is the Ascension Cathedral, considered as the main one. This is the uh, Orthodox Christian Cathedral. It is located in the suburbs of the town, so here you can see amazing panorama of Monchegorsk. Monchegorsk is also known for its ski resort, which is called Lopper stand. Little bits in the mountains, and it's way windier here than in the town. Now driving to one of the highest points around Monchegorsk, the hill called Pua Zuaivin. Oh wow! Now driving to the last point today. In the end of today's vlog, I came here to the bank of Imandra Lake, the biggest one in Murmansk region, the place for the annual festival Imandra Water Fest for those who are into yachting, kayaking, subsurfing, and other water sports. And uh, in the uh, winter time here, they are into the kite surfing uh, it's really huge lake 120 kilometers long and uh, in 37 kilometers from here there's the town of Apatite it's the cultural center of uh, Kola Peninsula and that's where I will go tomorrow so stay tuned and keep watching road trip Russia 2022 keep going comments like subscribe